What's up everybody and welcome back to Spaceship Crypto. I cannot wait to go over some details that happened last night on the Vaults of Dragon Sailors Club NFT Mega Space. Mr. Jen was there and he has an amazing company. Let me tell you, you got to check out my last video on Mr. Jen and find out some more details about the company. But a lot of growth has happened since the last time he was in our NFT mega space. Now, check this out. He went over some details about a partnership with Vault Inu. Now, let's take a listen to what he said and let's take a look at the post that they tweeted right now. <laughs> utility we are actually a drinks company gin company we've got um uh drinks uh spirit brand called mr gin and um we have used that as the basis and the backbone of funding repayments on air for nft holders so rather than relying on buys and sells to create utility and then create dividends for nfts we actually use the funding that we get from NFTs to uh, expand our real life business. Okay. Yeah. So what we're doing is uh, we're taking real life utility. Uh, we're taking the uh, sales, uh, the money that we're getting from NFT sales in order to expand. Uh, as I was talking last time, that we were trying to go from lo regional, local to regional, regional to national, national to national. But we've had a bit of a up and down in the way we're moving and we have signed up a deal with our export partners and we've jumped our national straight through to international, uh, which got signed earlier this week or in part of last week. It's all getting very blurred currently. Um, they are, have taken over full export on a global scale and... Uh, yeah, so, um, I mean, uh, we've got our collaboration with uh, David Arnott, which there is a lot of stuff going on in the background. Uh, honestly, hands on heart, this guy comes up with some crazy ideas. It, it, it's just, you, you'd be gobsmacked at some of the things he comes out with. It's brilliant. Um, he should have been a marketing genius, personally, I think. Um, it's out of the box. It's it's exactly what we look for as a company because we want to be out of the box. We want to, we don't want to be the traditional Smirnoffs and Black Labels and Gordons and Bacardis. We want to do something different, and he definitely brings it to the table. Uh, there's a lot of thing in the, things in the pipeline that he's working with us, and he is very he's a very enthusiastic person as well. If he has an idea, he's very open-minded, and he says it. It's brilliant. Uh, works al works along with us. It's it's not like a. He's not a paid promoter. He's not a paid artist. He's not. He's a member of the team. He's in the house, but, and uh, between him and the couple of exporting companies, the um, that we had, or we have. Sorry, uh, we're definitely going places one announcement that we did have which has been pinned up like spaceship um uh, and we have decided that we would the response we've had from vault has been absolutely fantastic uh we've always been welcomed we've all, even even out of the spaces we get messages dms all the time we have messages so just wishing us well which means a lot to us as a company so uh what we were going, to, what we want to do is, we've kind of come with come up with an agreement with the senior team at Vault, where, uh, and it is pinned up in the messages at the top. We are going to be starting, basically from now, for the month of September. Any purchases done on our NFTs, regardless of whoever it is with, buy. Uh, twenty five percent of our royalties made uh, will be used to hold, used to support uh, Vault for the month, and it that is literally a one month thing. We'll see how we see how it works out, and if everything goes well, it's something we will be carrying on for a long term. Uh, and 
it's mutually on both sides as long as we're more than happy to support Volt because we've got a lot of we have a lot of love for we have a lot of time for them. even though personally on a personal level I don't hold any Volt but it's something that I would love to do um, and we thought well, rather than me holding it as an individual us supporting as a company with ongoing revenue would definitely be a better option for both parties involved um i think what i think logistically probably the way it's going to happen is uh there may be we may be told whether you want support on buying the floor with nfts or the tokens uh or there may be a poll out on twitter and then the, the, you guys can decide however it is whatever you guys tell us to buy end of the month we'll buy and it's, it's just our way of showing appreciation and it's not being bought with the intention of buying it and selling it we just we want to hold it and we want to hold whichever floor you want us to hold as a long-term investment on our part as well it's uh yeah it's 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 definitely i think it's a very as as you're fully aware we, we, we like doing things out of the box and i think it's a very good way of definitely building up a stronger bond between the two communities. How long would y'all plan on holding? Um, Cause you said you wouldn't, you know, dump. How, how long would you hold the floor with that? Okay, I think um, on, well, as to what we're gonna buy, like I said, we'll do it by vote. Whatever you want us to buy, we will buy. Um, uh, as to how long we're holding it for, I, as a company, uh, as, as a person who never knows what's gonna happen in the future, uh, I would say one year is a guarantee. But personally, at, in our structure of the way our business is financed, our royalty wallet was never accounted for. Our royalty wallet was basically there to help us promote the sales of NFTs. So as far as we've concerned, if the Vault Army is supporting us by buying NFTs or if they are posting and retweeting so other people buy our NFTs. As long as our NFTs are sold, we have absolutely no reason even at that one year mark to sell because that's not money or income we were counting on. We, we would just, honestly, we would just leave it there. It, it, it has no, um, irrespective of whatever the value is because like I've been clear in all spaces I've done, we're in the business of selling gin. We, we, we're not in the business of trading tokens or NFTs. Yes, if we get an additional benefit of the NFT or of the token, we're definitely more than happy to receive it. And then that's stuff we can do, give back out. Even, even if we held the floor in tokens, we held the NFTs, we were, we've committed at least one year, so we would not sell it before that one year. Even after that one year point, if we've had enough, if we've had good support, we would rather give it back to the community as prizes than sell it. Because for us, the, the primary objective is to sell our NFTs, to raise capital, to help with our expansion and our growth. It's not to dump on any other project, especially one that's helping us. Oh, it's nice to hear somebody's not trying to dump on you. <laughs> No, um, I'm glad how you explained it. That's good because people should know that you know the income from there is, is not even included. So that is you know anything is you know is given. That's, that's pretty awesome how you you're doing that. Super excited. I've been looking at your project too, and I mean it's really you're really growing and stuff. So uh, you know congratulations on the growth and all the things that are going to be coming for you. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I mean, I, I've, I've not, I, I mean, I know this is information that it, this is a rearranged space. So I know the information is kind of prearranged to post at a certain time. It was actually going to post while I was talking in the last space. So that, that pin has kind of just fall, that post has kind of just fallen out of line. But I've never left a space without giving some additional information about what's going on in the company. So here's my little 
nugget for today. <laughs> um, uh, there is a, in terms of our business and our expansion plan, there is a company that we have just spoken. Uh, uh, it's a chain of, I believe they have some within the region, region of 1,700 bars across the country. And we have just negotiated a way to uh, enter into a panel of 10 that is going to be presenting our product to them. Out of the 10, they are looking to take three products on for their next menu change, as it were, on a national level. Um, it's something we've been working on in the background, and there seems to be a lot of favorable response. Uh, I can't tell you why they like it so much, but let's just say it doesn't just necessarily, in terms of supply, it doesn't end with Mr. Jin. There's a, there'll, there'll be a big ongoing supply for them across 1,700 bars, providing we can get from the final 10 and get selected into the final three, to the, to the actual winning three. Um, it's not an immediate sell by any means. If we are talking about sell, we're in September. It's a sell that starts at that. Basically, we will then have to gear up to for April next year. But like anything, you plan now for three months, six months down the line, because it's the right way to do it, especially in the industry we're in, where we would have to and this is why the importance of the NFTs comes to us, that it's where we will then be able to start bulk stocking for an instant overnight. Here's the keys to 1700 doors. Can you fill up a six of each flavor of gin to every single pub and bar? So that sale would require obviously a lot of work in the background beforehand. Oh, and while you're still maintaining your current supply with your existing clients. So when we obviously, and that, that's the reason why this whole NFT thing is very important to us and the sale of NFT is very important to us. And to help us with that, the keep not dumping and respecting the other communities that are helping us is just as important because there's no point doing the sales if you don't maintain a high mor a moral and a reputation. And there's no point in trying to maintain a moral reputation if you can't do the sales. So they have, you have to do both correctly. And it's, it's, it's mutual. And that's our little bit of information for the day. That is a really bullish partnership, in my opinion. So what do you think Vault Hoshi's going to do? Do you think he's going to ask the Vault Army, you know, what Mr. Jin should do? Should he buy the token and hold it for a year or sweep the floor of the dragons and, and hold them for a year and give them away later? I don't know what is going to happen, but stay tuned for Valtoshi's tweet because I'm sure we're going to find out very soon. All right, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to Space Street Crypto. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>